player, so it looks like we're getting ready to start here in a second. Again, this is Lord Dumb Buttons versus NGN Losers Finals Best of Five. NJN fresh off of a 0-3 uh, a th uh, loss against uh, Tao, so we'll see, you know, if he can dig deep and recover uh, mentally and start working back up the mountain. Off to a good start, gets the catch or release. That mo that move recently buffed. It used to have a blind spot in between uh, the hurt box and where Darley is, but now it's just a hurt box all the way through, making that uh, very fast, far-reaching move even deadlier. Okay, there it is. Big damage, look at that. Two thirds gone in an instant. That's how powerful that JC is, especially, especially if you can follow through uh, with the rest of the confirmed. Okay, but gets bonked on the head. LDB taking the first round, very clo for, clo uh, close first round though. A skull throw, nothing done, okay. Okay. This is probably what the this entire set is going to look like. It's gonna, again, it's going to be up to Darling to force her way in, and it's going to be up to LDB to keep uh, NJN's Darling out. Uh, LDB has access to uh, some far-reaching, fairly fast normals uh, in a floaty jump that will allow him to jump back and cover airspace in case uh, Darling tries to approach with that JC. So far, it's working out pretty well. Oi, okay, some hitbox shenanigans right there allows NJ to get a little bit of extra damage. Pop, ooh! The space in between seconds, NJN pops Rage Explosion and uh, punishes a button that was already active with Ethan, keeps him alive for one more round, going into round three. Hype moment, somebody in the chat clip that. All right, we're seeing LDB go on the offensive. He's trying to lock NJN into the corner, throws a skull. He can throw up to three of those uh, in one go. Uh, he can also uh, choose, there it is right there. He can choose uh, three different heights uh, for those skulls as well. Uh, very efficient zoning tool. Very effective zoning tool. All right. Again, we're seeing LDB being fairly active this time around. Darley very close to guard crush. You can see her flashing red. Right now, they're both just kind of slugging it out in the mid-screen with jumping normals. Ooh, air to air, both whiffs on both sides. And NJN's gonna cl close the gap. I don't wanna see you back up, sir. All right, LDB taking the first game. I hear the, uh, the Xanadu staff here trying to uh, corral all of the uh, spectators taking COVID regulations super serious here at Xanadu Games in Laurel, Maryland. Started the game of the beginning of game two. Is going to see LDB uh, up a life lead, about one third of NJN's uh, life bar gone. NJN getting a catch and release. Tries to punish goals with a JC, nothing done. Shuffling around the mid-screen right now. 40 seconds left. Okay. LDB back to just crouching, pushing buttons, trying to keep... Oh, okay, a weapon clash. And we're going to see NJN win the weapon clash. All right, so for you folks at home who haven't seen Samurai Showdown before, if two hitboxes uh, collide at the exact same frame, you get that weapon clash where essentially uh, you have to mash buttons. And uh, the person who mashes the most buttons in that period of time will disarm the opposing player and give them a, a very big advantage. It's possible that uh, the mash can end in a tie, resulting in both players being disarmed. Uh, but yeah. It's uh, it's a little bit of a rare occurrence. You can go entire turns without seeing that. But they, yeah, that was an example of Weapon Clash in Samurai Showdown. That's been a staple of the franchise since its inception. LDB taking that first round, even after being disarmed from that Weapon Clash. He's got Rage. He's got a WFT on deck, but uh, it's it's Tintin. Despite the WFT being buffed, uh, it's still not very good. Uh, LDB is going to opt to just take the extra damage that comes from being in a full bar rage. Looking very good right now. Back to the corner, but that's 
almost where he wants to be so he doesn't have to worry about being crossed up uh, with uh, air approaches. And with a life lead like that, he can afford to down back. 30 seconds left. NJN in the red. LDB. Okay, there's a rage explosion at the 28 second mark. We're seeing NJN back up, trying to trying to guard LDB into coming out of the corner so that uh, the threat of cross up is back on the table. But again, LDB just uh, opting to just down back in the corner, press buttons to keep him out. Convincingly closes that game out. The score is 2 0 on Losers Finals in this uh, best of five set. Here we go into game three. Strong start for NJN. Getting her DP. Meets him in the air. Okay. Oi. Jump back, JB. Okay, there we go. The hardcore. Early. Okay, NJN is finding all the right choices right now. Meeting him in the air. Being ahead on the timing. Okay. Light buttons all around. Goes for a parry. Nothing there. Slight punish. LDB in rage right now. Catch and release. Catching him out of the air. Tam Tam with a floaty jump. Makes his uh, jump arc very predictable. Very easy to track. And JN one touch away. Gets the overhead. We love to down back here in the DMV. But, you know, you can't down back too hard. You got to keep an eye out for those overheads. Uh, Darley with a fairly fast overhead, though. Can't blame LDB for getting hit by that one, but NJN, good stuff, closing that round out very strongly. Uh, coming into this round with a full bar of rage. Okay, putting pressure on LDB. LDB just backing up, backing up, backing up. He is officially out of space. Okay, he's the parry. Okay, goes, opts to use his DP. I'm, I, I don't think SSM would have reached at that distance. That was a very far... Uh, parry, good stuff for NJN. Oh, a little too fast to punish that floaty jump. Both a blessing and a curse uh, when it comes to dealing with punishes. Okay, runs up, just raw WFTs. Three hits, all of them blocked, and gets swept. One round apiece, LDB on set point right now. The last few seconds of Darley's uh, rage meter takes out, gets the first hit, a catch and release. Back roll from LDB. Runs forward, keeps it at the mid screen. Okay, nice with punish. And JN might be getting the uh, the download on uh, on LDB's uh, habits, his neutral habits. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Gets stripped. Still fairly even on health. That's gonna be. Tremendous. I believe that just slightly puts life lead in NJN's favor. Okay! An early whiffed air-to-air uh, -air is going to allow NJN to get a punish, and LDB popping his rage explosion at the 30-second mark. Okay, run up, command grab. Is NJN going to pop his rage explosion, or is he going to wait until the very last? It gets a throw. NJ LDB cannot do anything about it. That's going to be a point on the board for NJN. There we go. There we go. Looks like he's starting to figure it out. Good stuff from the man from Illinois. Score is now 2-1 in this best of five set. They're going right back into it, mashing those rematch buttons. Frame one, not taking any time. LDB is starting to be active. I think he's used skulls in this round uh, more than he has collectively so far. Okay, that's gonna, okay, okay, okay. It's the hardcore, hardcore Holly with, as an anti-air, okay. Opts to cancel the, ha the hammer. That's a charge move uh, with its properties changing depending on how far it's charged. Uh, it can go, uh, at max charge it is, un it is a nearly full screen unblockable uh, attack, but it takes quite a while to get there. Hardcore Holly. I think NJN is recognizing that uh, LDB is uh, down backing a lot, and that hardcore Holly, uh, you know, that's an overhead. Um, pretty fast as well. Pretty good tool against someone who uh, who is content to down back a lot. Oh, wow. Getting a lot of mileage out of that. He must have checked his notes between matches. 
Darley flashing red, but I don't really think that we're going to see a guard crush. Uh, 5C is a button that uh, LDB has not been using a whole lot. There, there it is right there, but that was just a punish, and a, a 5B is going to close it out. LDB once again on set point. Let's see if NJN can turn this around. He's starting to get some momentum. He's starting to figure out. We just need him to stay cool. Okay. Gets anti-aired. Or uh, air to air, pardon me. Okay. Tries to whip punish something that wasn't there. Okay. Gets the trip. What's it gonna be? That's gonna be a punish. Significant one at that. Okay, parries. Nothing there. Nice. Cats are at least nearly at a maximum range. Anything to keep the momentum train going for NJN. LDB staying calm. He's up around, up a game. He can afford to uh, play this one out a little bit longer. Gets punished just about even on health. A rather slow, uh, uh, rather uh, slow pace. Around 20 seconds left. Okay, meets him in the air. NJN losing a lot of these air-to-air -air battles. Tam controlling that space very well. 10 seconds left. There's the rage explosion at the 9 second mark. Okay, it's the trip. Right now, NJN throwing out stuff, trying to protect space. There it is! The score is 2-2. Two, two. I loved what NJN was doing. He was, uh, uh, oh, no, no, that was one round each, my bad. <laughs> I, re I really want to see this go all the way. I'm really enjoying this set between these two, and that that's a rough start. WFT uh, is going to disarm NJN. He is effectively starting this round with no rage bar and half health, 50 seconds in. I really love what I saw uh, from NJ at the end of that uh, that previous round. I want to see more of it. 40 seconds left. Air to air is constantly costing NJ in little bits of life, adding up over time. Another one. Okay. The finger spin. Looking really rough right now for NJ in. No rage explosion means that he's going to have to hold everything that happens. Okay, that's a good start. Get a few more of those and we'll be going to uh, game five. LDB really only needs one touch, though, to end it right here on Game 3. No, Game 4, pardon me. This is Game 4. Okay, there it is. That's going to be a 3-1 for LDB over NJN. I really enjoyed uh, that set. It looked like NJN was uh, starting to really get the hang of it towards the end. I loved what he did, uh, not in that last round, but the round before. Uh, where he was pushing the advantage he had by, uh, you know, essentially uh, running up, pressing buttons to stop his run, just just really kind of attacking from, just throwing out uh, hit hurt boxes, essentially, at different uh, elevations, different angles, forcing LDB back into the corner more and more and more, really kind of just forcing him there. Uh, uh, 